War is a nightmare. War is awful. But war is also an incredible teacher. A brutal teacher. One of the most impactful lessons that I learned from war was in the spring of 2006 in the city of Ramadi, Iraq, where brutal and determined terrorists ruled the streets. And it was in one neighborhood of that city during an operation that I was in charge of when all hell broke loose. Through a series of mistakes and human error and poor judgment and Murphy's Law and just plain bad luck, a horrendous firefight broke out. But this firefight, it wasn't between us and the enemy. This firefight, tragically, was between us and us. The mortal sin of combat. And when it was over, and the fog of war lifted. One friendly Iraqi soldier was dead. Two more were wounded. One of my men was wounded. The rest of my seals were badly shaken. And it was only through a miracle that no one else was killed. And it was reported up the chain of command what had happened. And when we got back to base, things didn't get much better. There was a message waiting for me from my commanding officer. It said that the commanding officer, the master chief, and the investigating officer were inbound to my location. And they told me to prepare a debrief to explain what had gone wrong. Now, I knew what this meant. It meant that somebody had to pay. It meant that somebody had to get fired for what had happened. So, I began to prepare my debrief. And in it, I detailed every mistake that was made and who made it. There was plenty of blame to go around. But something wasn't right. For some reason, I just couldn't put my finger on who was at fault and who specifically I should blame for what had happened. And then, when I was about 10 minutes from starting the debrief, that answer came and it hit me like a slap in the face. And I realized that there was only one person to blame for the confusion, only one person to blame for the wounded men, and only one person to blame for the dead Iraqi soldier. And I knew exactly who that person was. And with that knowledge, I walked into the debriefing room with my commanding officer and the master chief and the investigating officer were sitting there waiting for me along with the rest of my men. And I stood up before them and I asked them one simple question. Whose fault was this? One of my SEALs raised his hand. And he said it was my fault. I didn't keep control of the Iraqi soldiers I was with. And I said, no, it wasn't your fault. And then another SEAL raised his hand. And he said, boss, this was my fault. I didn't properly identify my target and I shot and killed that friendly Iraqi soldier. This was my fault. And I said, no, this wasn't your fault either. And it wasn't yours or yours or yours, I said as I pointed to the rest of the SEALs in the room. And then I told them that there was only one person at fault for what had happened. There was only one person to blame. And that person was me. I am the commander. I am the senior man on the battlefield. And I am responsible for everything that happens. 
And then I went on to explain to them some new tactics, techniques, and procedures that we were going to implement to ensure that this kind of travesty never happened again. And I will tell you something, it hurt. It hurt my ego, it hurt my pride to take the blame. I had to take responsibility. And in order to do that, I had to control my ego so that my ego did not control me. And you know what? I didn't get fired. In fact, my commanding officer, he now trusted me even more. And my men, they didn't lose respect for me. And you know what? They had the same attitude. Unlike a team where no one takes ownership of the problems and therefore the problems never get solved with us, everyone took ownership of their mistakes. Everyone took ownership of the problems. And when a team takes ownership of its problems, the problems get solved. And that is true on the battlefield, it is true in business, and it is true in life. Take extreme ownership. Don't make excuses. Don't blame any other person or any other thing. Take ownership of everything in your world, the good and the bad. Take ownership of your mistakes, take ownership of your shortfalls, take ownership of your problems, and then take ownership of the solutions that will get those problems solved. Lead yourself and your team and the people in your life lead them all to victory.